What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create professional logos without the use of Photoshop. Before I do start the video guys, I would just like to say that this is in association with the website taylorbrands.com. A lot of you were asking me in the comments uh, to do a video on how to make a logo and especially without using Photoshop because I know a lot of you don't have any skills in it. You just need a logo design. You don't have enough money to even pay a logo designer. So this website is definitely recommended to you. I did go ahead and look at loads of online logo makers and uh, Taylor Brands was the best one that I did find. So um, I hit them up and they were up to do a video with me. So hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy this as I show you how to actually use their website as you can see we are on taylorbrands.com i will leave a link to it in the description down below and uh, this is the home page once you do go ahead and sign up i definitely recommend you do uh, so you can actually save your logos and also download them anyways once you are on the home page as you can see you'll get this black box which does say enter a logo name so it's as simple as that whatever the name is of your brand so i'm going to put visual arts and you literally just have to click design so once you do that, um, it actually uses an AI to actually create your design, which I think is really clever, graphic design. And then it says here, by telling us what you do, uh, we can create better designs for you. So for example, this is, we are a small organic shop located wherever. So I'm gonna go ahead and put graphic designer located in the United Kingdom, specializing in social media design you can literally click next and after that you will go ahead and use their AI system so it will ask you a bunch of questions the first one here is to choose a logo type so you've got an icon based one a name based one or an initial based one um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to initial because I've tried name before so I'm gonna mix it up and go to initial base but you guys can choose whatever you want uh, once you've done that it says which style suits you best so you go ahead and uh, go through this AI so you literally choose the left or the right ones so for this one, I'm going to choose the left. I prefer that. I prefer the right one here. It's of course, personal preference, whatever one you do prefer, you can select. And also I believe the AI will change and it's also always improving, which is a really nice feature on their website. I like a lot of these fonts. Uh, let's go with that one. And then once you have finished, it will design your perfect logo for you. As you can see, this is going really quick. Um, it does also plan your social media posts as well. So as you can see here, and my logo is low now so these are all the logo options I do have here on the left hand side and you can scroll through these and see which one suits you more you also get a drop down arrow as you can see here click here to see more logos so you can load more up as well there's a couple logos I do like I really like this text this is really creative if you look over to the right hand side you can see what your logo does look like in a social media like format and then if you look down you can see it on business cards which I find really creative you've got it on like different mock-ups here and you can see what it looks like in different colors as well which is a nice feature the logo I'm gonna go ahead and use is this text logo here I think this is really creative the way they've got this like red and black color scheme and as you can see it works really well on like social media posts and uh, phone wallpapers and so forth so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one you can press this red customize button and uh, this will let you tweak your logo on the left hand side they give you the option to change the font the color I'm actually gonna keep the font and color the same I really like this how it looks and then it gives you the option to uh, save it so I'm gonna go ahead and press this uh, top right hand box where it says finish and as you can see here it will give you the plan options as you guys can see now the prices do vary you can get monthly options you can get one year options and also two year ones so go ahead and have a look on the website and see which one suits you the most of course you can go ahead and uh, test it out by having the logo for free but that's not going to give you high resolution um, it's not going to give you the transparent files and all of the features that you do get the main question can I cancel in the middle of my subscription as you can see here they say yes you are able to cancel your subscription at any time which is definitely a nice feature you also do own the full rights to the purchase logo which is definitely really nice as well so guys what I'm gonna do is go ahead and check out with the premium option and I'll be right back with you so I now have the premium plan and as you can see now it will introduce you to the whole guide so as you can see it says we will introduce you to your very own branding agency and they're gonna help you market your like business they're gonna help you with analytics uh, the creative side the design side and then of course 
the completion. I'm going to go ahead and speed through this process because personally I don't have my own Facebook page and I'm not a proper business, I'm more of like a freelance designer so the logo was the main important part of it and I'm going to speed through this but you may need this part, this guide to help you. It just does depend on what you're making the logo for and who you are. And as you can see here we have suggested social media posts so they will give you ideas on what to post on your social medias which I really like. Of course you don't have to go, I'm going to scroll to the bottom here, get your logo, I'm going to press download and this will give me everything that I need for my logo. This is all the logo assets um, that open up and as you guys can see they have given me all of the logo files. So I've got a uh, logo in full black colour with the white PNG, you can't really see that too well here. Um, let's just open up the white one so you guys can see it. Really really nice, uh, they have the plain white one, the plain black one, the red and black one as well which is one of my favourites and depending on the logo you have you will get different files. So guys, those are the basics on how to use the Taylor Brands website. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. You can try it out. Of course, it won't appeal to everybody because a lot of you want to get your logos professionally designed. I understand that my logo was personally made by me. I'm a graphic designer. But for those people who don't have Photoshop at all, uh, this website's definitely going to appeal to them because they won't be able to have the skills to make a logo. Also, I just want to say if this video didn't appeal to you, I will have a Photoshop video out uh, as my next video so hopefully you will go on to enjoy that if you did however enjoy this video make sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated this has been visual or james and i'm out